Hi. In this video, I'll introduce you to DataStream. Then I'll walk through setting up real-time replication from Cloud SQL to BigQuery. I'm Gabe Weiss, a developer advocate for Google Cloud. DataStream is a serverless change data capture, or CDC, replication service. DataStream makes it easy to replicate data from operational databases into BigQuery reliably and with minimal latency. DataStream provides a simple, integrated experience to guide you through every step of the process. It's serverless, so you don't need to worry about managing or monitoring instances, and continuous data replication means you can unify data across multiple sources and applications and make it accessible in real time to help power a wide range of use cases, including analytics, database migrations, event-driven architectures, AI and machine learning, data lakes, and more. Whether your source database is on-premises, self-hosted in Google Cloud, or running on another cloud, DataStream helps you quickly unlock the benefits of real-time replication. Now let's walk through the DataStream experience. You can easily find DataStream by searching for it in the search box at the top of the Cloud Platform Console. You can also find it in the Google Cloud Console navigation under Analytics. To get started, you'll create a stream. This represents the end-to-end -end process of streaming changes from your source database to your destination. First, let's define some basic information about the stream. I want to replicate data from a Postgres database into BigQuery. Once I've defined my source and destination types, DataStream shows me the configuration required for successful streaming. DataStream is unique in that it reflects all the configuration requirements directly within the creation process to take out the guesswork involved. For example, since I chose Postgres as my source, I can see the requirements for setting up the necessary logging configuration and permissions. After confirming the necessary prerequisites, I'm ready to define my source. I can do this by creating a connection profile, a resource that represents the information needed to connect to a database. These profiles aren't locked to an individual stream. This means I can reuse profiles if I want to, and also allows me to hand off creating the source configuration to someone else in my organization who's in charge of connecting to the database. I've already created a connection profile for my Postgres database, so I'll select it. Whether I create my source connection profile now or use one I created in advance, I can test connectivity to make sure DataStream is able to reach it. DataStream supports both public and private connectivity methods to easily and securely connect to sources wherever they're hosted, be it on Google Cloud, on-premises, or on other cloud providers. Once the connectivity test passes, I can continue to configure the stream for my source. Next, I need to specify some replication properties for my Postgres database. And then I want to select objects that this stream should pull from my source. Using the selection UI, I can define which schemas and tables to stream from my database. I'll select a couple of tables from the Employees schema. For the objects I selected, I also need to bring over the historical data, so I'll leave the backfill mode set to automatic. Now I'm ready to define the destination for my stream. Here again, I can create a new connection profile for my destination or use an existing one. I'll select a BigQuery connection profile I have ready to go. Now DataStream allows me to specify how to load the data into BigQuery. I can choose between creating a new data set for every schema in the source database or create all my tables in BigQuery inside a single data set. For this demo, I want to create a data set for every schema. And to help keep my data in BigQuery organized, I also want to prefix each data set with demo. That was easy. I've connected and configured my stream. All that's left is to validate the end-to-end -end stream configuration and start moving data. Validation passed successfully. I can trust that my stream will run smoothly. I'll create and start the stream to run it immediately. DataStream will perform the historical backfill and continuously replicate changes as they happen. I can monitor different metrics of the stream, such as throughput, latencies, and more. With data now continuously being replicated into BigQuery, I can query real-time data and get up-to-date information on all my business processes, build reports and predictive analytics with machine learning, and easily provide secure access to my data across the organization. And that's it. I've quickly and easily shown you how to continuously ingest changes from a Postgres database into BigQuery using DataStream. 
And since DataStream is serverless, it will automatically scale up and down to handle my data volumes and maintain minimal latency. DataStream is the fast, easy, and reliable way to seamlessly replicate data from your database to BigQuery to support analytics, and it can also be used to capture change streams to support database replication, event-driven architectures, and more. It's serverless, high performance, and easy to use. Now it's your turn to give it a try. You can get started from the Google Cloud Console or learn more at cloud.google.com/datastream. Thanks for watching.